Hey, yo, 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 what is up, my fellow Bintubers? Cesario from the Barrio, coming back at you with another video for your fun. Mucho muchacho, mucho muchacho. All right, so this is going to be more of a documentation. So I remember where I'm at, January 21st, 2021. Uh, what I'm going to do today is what I call the, a binder tune-up. Uh, I'm going to start with my 70s and older sets. Um, and to show you what I mean, basically, I'm going to go through all of my binders, the 58, the 69. Well, it was really only going to concentrate on 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. But I'm going to do all these. And what I want to do today is go through all of them, make sure they're nice and tight. And I'm going to put all, all these binders to match colors. So I got eight binders, so I think I'm going to go with um, with my black binders right here. I'm going to switch all these around that I have, these black ones, the Ultra, Pro, Ultra Pros. So, and um, put those binders in those and make sure they're tight, all right? So we're going to start off with the 58. So this is my 1958 uh, binder. And this is something that's a no-no, man. So glad I'm doing this tune-up on this. But this set is complete. The only card that's not in here is the 145. Why? Because it doesn't exist. I made a video explaining that whole thing about that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get a black folder and switch all these cards over to the new binder. So basically what I'm going to do, I got this 88 Donneris, and I'm going to switch... The binders switch these pages with these pages. So I've switched over all the Donruss to the old, because um, this is actually a basketball binder. All right, so move that to the side. And we're going to start putting the 58 pages into the new binder. All right, and normally I like to keep a lot of extra pages, but man, look at these pages. Uh, I started putting this set together like 10 years ago, and I think I actually used one of my old binders that I used to um, help my son collect his Pokemon cards with. So these binder pages are like 30 years old or something, all right? But anyways, when you're switching the cards over, and you know what? I'm going to take out these extra pages, and these are doubles. I'm going to put these in my 58 um, extras box, my doubles box. These are all my doubles. Um, that's something I, I started putting my doubles behind the binders, but I'm getting away from them putting them in boxes All right, so when you do um, switch these cards over you want to do little stacks at a time All right, and you want to try to put them on the D ring on the straight side of the binder. All right, so obviously Take your time man. Take your time and um, it'll all get done in time Okay, so I'm done with that uh, one of the things you want to make sure is that this is not like this. You want it to be more like this, more level, so that the cards don't sag and it has a nice snug fit. One of the things I like to do, which I think is a cool thing to do, is um, put a couple of Beckett's or any magazine that you have in there to fill that space and make it straight. And this is also a cool way, like when you pull it out, you know, you have something to look at, you know, um, when um, you're going through your albums or showing other people, you know, so that's something that is a must. Now the last step is I'm gonna change. We gotta switch out the spine, and I'm I'm retiring Ray Herbert and replacing him with somebody special. So when I choose a card for my spine, I make sure it's a double. I gotta have two of them. So I'm use this double Mickey Mantle. Can you believe that I have a 258 Mickey Mantles, which was the first Mickey Mantle card I ever bought. Wish it was these ones themselves, but all right. So I'm gonna put this baby in the spine and gently slide it in. Pull it back out, then in a little deeper. Pull it back out and then thrust it all the way in. Yep, there you go. That's my 58 now. So now I'm gonna repeat that. With the rest, with the 69, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Okay? I'm gonna switch these two around. So, boom, there they are, switched out. The 69 in black, and put the Donruss in blue. 
And last thing you always want to check before you put in, you want to do the little tune-up. Make sure the pages are tight. See how you have all that room. Go ahead, grab a magazine, put it in there, and that'll prevent it from getting damaged, man. Make sure it's tight, all right? Let's go to the next one, which would be my 74 set. So I'll be switching binders with the 74 and the 92 upper deck. So switch your Rooney. So I've got the cart, the pa binder pages switch, and if you guys ever wonder, like I get this um like flat um tweezers, and makes it easier. Oh, let me get it in there to pull out these cards. But you always want to use a card that you already have a double that you don't care about messing up. Just a little tip, just a tip. So the last thing I need to do is um put my checklist in there this is my checklist for 74 tops I still got a way to go actually but this is uh, for me to be able to look at and know what I'm missing and if you're wondering if I'm gonna put a Beckett in this one I don't need to and the reason for that being uh, th these binders are like 800 count right and these older sets are like 660 you know um, they're not as big so that's why you need the that's why you need the uh, the extra pages and stuff. But, oh man, am I missing a card over here? Oh yeah. Uh, but these have the traded set in here. I have put the traded in here to make up for that space. Uh, before the traded uh, were kind of part of the set almost. Uh, when they first came out. So, this is already tight enough. So let's go on to the next one. Which should be the 75 so I'll be switching out the 75 tops which is complete with this 81 Don reset and boom the dishes are done switch to the black and on this one if you're wondering it's kind of tight already even though this is also a smaller set but I have two slabs in here so I even <laughs> been saying this before I need to find these raw or break these out so I could put them in the binder All right but for now this is what keeps it um, solid, all right? So let's move on to the next one, which will be the Spirit of 76. So I'll be switching the 83 FLIR with the 76 top so I can put the matching binder. So bam, that is done. This is obviously um, a basketball binder. So I got these switched over to a baseball binder, a black one. And I also, this is my checklist for 76. My checklist for the 1976 tops. I need three cards to complete the 76 set. I need to get working on those. But like I said, if I could just go see them, see, go online, I could probably find them quick. And I think this one needs a magazine. So, so I'll be putting this one in here. Royally underrated, man. Whit Merrifield. Invest, invest. Uh, he'll be... Filling in, making it tight like Tiger. So let's put this baby back in. And the next one will be the 77 tops. So I'll be switching these two binders. And in this binder, I actually have three sets in here that I'm trying to complete. And this is my checklist, the 2020 tops Chrome, 2019 Chrome, and the 2019 update Chrome. So I'll be switching these two binders out with this one see and as you can see in this one I had already done this with extra pages sometimes if I didn't have a magazine or if I had extra pages that's why I put it up to make it tight like tiger so switch these out and this one doesn't get a card because it has three so I was able to label these three that are in here and now we got a black binder for the 77 tops on to the next one on to the next one which will be the 1978 tops Eddie Murray and on the 77 binder, I think I had way too many pages in there. It was actually overstuffed, so I'm replacing it with um, this smaller um, price guide that I had as a kid. As I think that's enough to protect the, the front pages. Tight like tiger. Oh, and I forgot. This is my checklist for 1977 tops. Normally, when I have over 20 numbers, I keep just the numbers. But once they get under 20 cards, that's when I put the names in. That's just what I do. So there's the 77 tops checklist. So I'll be switching out the blue 
with the black binder from 05, which I haven't even put a card in there yet on the spine. So boom, the crossover is done. Crossed over this back to a to a black um, binder and put the 05s in this blue one. And the last thing I will need to do is put my checklist. But I just got this in the mail yesterday. So that's part of the tune-up and checklist. No more, man. That's the best part about <laughs> the best part about being a set collector is completing a set. Bam! 78. Boom! There's the flavor! And by the time you get to 78, these already have like the binder size. The size of the set goes to 726. So by the time you get to this year, you don't need any more magazines or paper to fill it in. They fill up the binder just fine on their own. So the last binder of the night. The 79 tops with Eddie Murray on the front. I can't have two Eddie Murrays, can I? So I will be switching out these binders right here. The 83 tops with the Frank Viola autograph on it. And the 79. Let's switch them up. Okay, so we're done moving the cards around. So I got the vintage in the black binder and switched the 83 to the gray binder. But I'm going to switch cards since I already have another Murray. Don't want Eddie Murray's back to back. So what I'm going to do is go into my boxes of doubles and get that 79 right there. The 78 and 79. Pull one out of there. All right. So these are like all my doubles. These are 78 and 79. Uh, the 78s are in the front. So these are my 78 doubles right here. Uh, this is what I trade. This is, would be what I used to trade to get other vintage cards. So... Ooh, Thurman Thomas. So I'm going to throw this Thurman Thomas in the spine. Out of, you, out of your mind. Ooh, that sure looks fine. All right. So there we go. Now let's put it in its home. Are you too good for your home? So the last thing I do, I check when I do a tune-up is my checklist. And I got all these cards, man. So I thought I was done with the set. So when I'm putting them in, I'm looking at every, every um, page. And I found one missing. For whatever re whatever reason, I'm missing 490. And I like to keep my old checklist because of this. So as you can see on my old checklist, I used to have number 490 on my checklist. But for some reason, when I made a new list after I crossed all these out, I left 490 out of the checklist. So guys... I need 490 for 79 tops, Al Cowan. All right, so let me tape that checklist in there real quick. Bam! The dishes are done, man. Let's put you in your home. So there it is, guys. I did my vintage binders tune-up. So now they're all nice and tight, all right? And I got an update on all my checklists. Uh, they ended up being a lot tighter than I actually had them before that I had no room for my 74 Giants uh, binder. I had to remove it. So it's nice and tight now. The pages won't sag, man. I think I recommend everybody do a, a binder tune up every year, every couple of years, man. All right. So love the hobby, people. And just keep collecting baseball cards forever. I said. And then here are all my doubles, man, for my vintage cards. All right. Choo. <laughs> And just a little information, look at these are all pages that I used to have extra pages that I took out to replace with uh, magazines today. All right. <laughs> Love the hobby, people. And just keep collecting baseball cards forever, I say. Ciao.